2016 has turned out to be a huge year for General Motors. Cars like the Cadillac CT6, their flagship sedan, and the XT5 have launched from that company. Chevrolet has launched the new Chevrolet Volt, the Malibu, the Spark, the Camaro, and now this. This is their popular Chevy Cruze. We're here in Nashville, Tennessee to check it out. This new generation Chevy Cruze is built on a new platform and compared to the previous outgoing model, it is longer, it has a longer wheelbase, it's a little bit wider, and best of all, they've made the chassis stronger and stiffer. While doing all this, the vehicle is also 250 pounds lighter. In the front, you have some nice LED trim now and the entire vehicle is very sleek looking, so sleek in fact, that this is more aerodynamic than the Chevrolet Corvette. This is on the same level as the Chevy Bolt. So very, very aerodynamic, great for fuel economy and great for noise. Wheel sizes range from 15 inch all the way up to 18 inch, which you get on this RS package here. The back is cohesive and matches the rest of the exterior styling. I kind of find it kind of looks a little generic, like most of the compact cars in its class. So the inside of the Cruze is all new and what I really like is Chevrolet has done a good job of kind of integrating their interiors almost like the same but just a little bit different. Uh, let, let's say like the Malibu, the Volt, there's similarities between all the interiors and you feel right at home. Now this one is equipped with the 8 inch screen, the standard is a 7 inch screen, touch screen that is, and the the navigation area is a little bit different than the, the Malibu and the Volt, but it still has four buttons, a back button, a home button radio, very easy to use. I am really enjoying the 4G LTE Wi-Fi. I didn't think, uh, what, you know, what would you use that for? But put it this way, from Canada, you use your cell phone for you know, surfing the internet, Facebook, things like that. Uh, you pay a lot of roaming fees. Well, with this Wi-Fi hotspot, it's great. Now, it's free when you buy the car for a few months and then you have to subscribe to it. That can get expensive, but it all depends what your needs are. Just like the Malibu, this is also equipped with wireless charging and cooling as well. So it does cool your phone while it's charging and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. It's pretty amazing what you can get in a compact car. You have that 4G, Wi-Fi, LTE, everything else. They also claim this is the most connected car in its class, just like the Malibu in its class as well. But for a compact car, um, you get the nice moonroof, the Panorak moonroof. You have heated front and rear seats on this particular model, even a heated steering wheel. Pretty incredible. With the front seat set where I would sit, when, and I'm just under 5'11", there is plenty of room in the back seat, especially for a compact car. What's really impressive though is the trunk. There is a ton of room. You'd really think this is a mid-sized car with the size of the trunk and what you can actually fit in it. The new Cruze also gets a new power plant, a 1.4 liter turbocharged Ecotec engine putting out 153 horsepower and 177 pound-feet of torque which is quite a bit for a car this size. Now, like I said, the car is a little bit longer, the wheelbase is a little bit longer, and the chassis is stiffer now, so you get a nice, refined, pretty smooth ride for a compact car that's matched to a six-speed manual transmission, or you can get a six-speed auto as well. You do pay a little extra for the automatic. So it's kind of funny, a few weeks ago, we test drove the new Malibu. I kind of find this like, like a mini Malibu. It has the same type of look. It has the same, it's a very solid feel, but it's just a little bit smaller, which is really nice. As for fuel economy, pretty respectable, 7.8 liters in the city and 5.6 on the highway. And that's due to, first of all, the more slippery uh, resistance for the aerodynamics. Plus this is also equipped with auto start stop technology. And that's really evident when you, we're going through the city of Nashville right now at all the stoplights just turning off and it's pretty seamless when it's coming back on. So that's a great thing. Now, safety-wise, this thing is loaded with safety features, especially for a compact car, and that's kind of get, becoming the norm in this category now. You get forward collision uh, warning, you have rear cross-traffic alert, uh, lane keep assist, blind spot, you have 10 airbags, you get tons and tons of safety features. Now, what's it gonna cost you to get into a new cruise? actually less than what the previous one, and this is the same trend that you're finding with the entire lineup of the Chevrolet products for 2016. 
It starts at $15,995 for the base model, goes all the way up to $23,885 for the top Premier trim. Now one thing that we talked about when we were the inside, I just want to touch base on it a little bit more, is this 4G Wi-Fi LTE. Believe it or not, it really has come in handy. Once again, there's no roaming fees, but it's actually very, very quick for one. And the coverage, it works about 50 feet away from the car. It's very, very fast. And I can see uh, getting used to this system very easily. Now this car is so much more refined than the previous generation of the Cruze. And it's really, I really don't envy anyone that's in the market for a compact car right now from the Honda Civic, the Jetta, the Elantra. It's a real tough race because they all are so good. They have so much content, but if you really want something really connected, you really want to try this one. Well, Chevrolet has sold over 4 million cruises to date worldwide. And with this new 2016, that's bigger, wider, lighter, more powerful, more connected and safer. I definitely think they're going to add a few more million to that number.